hello guys welcome to my channel so in this particular video i'm dropping today i will be showing you how to design an online banking website just like the one um, you are seeing on my screen right now so this video is going to be an awesome one because i will be revealing a lot of secrets everything you need to know to get started and design a perfect online banking website just like this one so guys, um, before we get started, I will show you all the features um, that this online banking website has. So as you can see, you can, um, this is the login um, session. If you click here right now, this is where you can log in as um, if you already have an account in this particular banking platform. So you log in over here, put the uh, login uh, account number and then the password. So that's for the login side. If you don't have an account already in this particular bank, then you have to um, use this particular session to create an account. So this particular um, banking website is automatic. So you have to create the account yourself. Then the admin will approve um, your account from the back end. So as you can see over here, this is a very beautiful website uh, with numerous features. And this particular website has an email alert and also SMS alert. You can configure the SMS alert for this particular website too. So guys, okay, I'm going to log in right now so that you, you will see how the um, user dashboard looks like. So I just click on the login. Then I will log in with, with my details. I already have an account in this website already. So I'm going to log in with my details right now. So that I will show you guys how the um, user dashboard looks like. So, okay, this is my account number that I will be using to register. And sorry to log in, I mean. Then I will, I will put my password. Okay, then I will click on login. Okay, so. As you can see over here, um, the account is, is and that is in the website is requesting for my account pin. So I need to provide my account pin before I'll be able to pass this stage. So I will type my account pin over here, then click on confirm login. Okay, guys. Um, as you can see over here now, this is the uh, user dashboard. So this website offer both user and admin dashboard. So this is the user dashboard right now for the um, account. So as you can see, I funded this account with um, that is ninety three thousand US dollar. So this is the amount this account is currently um, with. So ninety three thousand US dollar. So this is the account number. Then this is the account holder um, name. So you can see over here. Then the account type, the account status. So that's um, pretty much everything you need to know about this particular dashboard here. Then we have over here also my profile. So I click on my profile. Then from my profile, you see this this um, the passport. Sorry, the um, that is a, the user passport, the photo which I uploaded on this account. So from here, you can see my email address also. Okay. Then you can also see the available balance. So guys, um, I'm going to show you how to create, how I created this particular um, banking website. It's, it's a very easy one. So you don't need to know anything about coding. I'm going to show you step by step on how you can create this in a very simple way. So I, I will advise you stay tuned and watch this video to the end. As you can see over here also, we have um, live chat. So we have live chat here also. So everything is working perfectly, and also this is the okay, yeah, this is the use and um, admin dashboard. So this is the admin dashboard where you'll be able to edit um, what you want to, what you want the users to see in their account. So as you can see over here, you can see account, create new account, update users account, update user uh, profile images, and the rest of them. Then we have also here the transfer status, add trans, then message and uh, inbox, then we have transaction, then we have a uh, sign-on. 
sign out so guys these are uh, everything i'll be showing you step by step on how to achieve this particular website on how to design it in a very simple way so guys please stay tuned and watch this video to the end and also please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you very much as we get started Okay, everyone, welcome to the training. So, in this session of the video, I will be guiding you through the step by step video guide on how to develop the online banking website, which I just showed to you. Okay, so I'll be showing you the various the various steps on how to um, create the banking website. The first thing you need to do to get started is that you need to um, have a domain name and a hosting as well okay so you can do that uh, from namecheap all right so you can purchase your domain name and host it from from namecheap it's very it's very easy so all you need to do is to visit their website namecheap.com then you type in the particular domain name you want to use um for your banking website you can just type it here let's say for example i would say um okay so after you type it here like this then you click on search okay so it will direct you to this particular page where you know if the domain name is available or not so as you can see this particular domain name is available for 90 for uh, 8.98 dollar per year so you can just click on add to cart and then if you haven't registered on this particular website then you have to register before you can purchase domain name uh, and hosting so you can go over here so you can just click on share hosting that's after after you might have purchased your domain name so you can just click on share hosting or why buying your, your domain name you can as well add hosting to to the particular um, package all right so it's very easy to do that okay so let's go right into the um training because i've already gotten my domain name and i'm hosting that i will be using for this training okay so the next thing i will do right now is that i want to create a a subdomain name for this particular training because i have a website on the main directory of this um this domain name already okay so i'll just come here and, and search your subdomain all right i'll click on subdomain all right so i can just type in the the name i want to use for this particular subdomain name i can just um call it training all right then i'll click outside so this is how we are going to assess this um, particular website that we, we are working on all right so we'll click on create okay so as you can see our subdomain name has been successfully created all right so if you want to um assess this particular website that i'll be working on this is the um link this is the link that i'll be using okay this is the link from here to this um particular session all right so i'll click on um this particular cpanel logo here now so to take me directly back to the um cpanel dashboard okay so we'll go over now to the uh, file manager so that to upload the banking scripts okay so i'll click on file manager then we'll locate the particular um subdomain name we created so which is this one here this training then i will click on it all right after clicking on it i will have to delete this particular folder we don't need it i'll just right click then click on delete okay so i will upload the bank file now i will click on upload over here then i will go over to my system and drag the file okay so this is the file this is the banking file i will have to drag the file to to the file manager right here okay so i will drop it like this so as you can see the uploading have started already so we just have to wait okay 
Okay, so we have successfully uploaded our um, script to the C panel. Okay, so what we need to do now is to go back to um, our subdomain name we created earlier. So I'll have to refresh this page now. I will load it. I will click here. Okay, so this is the this is the file we just uploaded. I will I will right click on it. Then after I right click on it, I will click on extract okay i'll click on extract here extract files so that we we'll extract the zip file because we uploaded a, a, a zip file so we have to extract it okay so once you get something like this you just have to click on close okay so you can delete the zip file we um we added earlier the zip file we uploaded earlier you can delete it just right click and then you click on delete okay click on delete confirm okay guys so this is our um bank files over here that we, we just uploaded all right so the next thing we need to do right now is to um create a database the database is very important because that's the next um step we are going to take we are going to configure the database for our bank website and also we we'll, we'll also configure the email all right so we'll configure the email as well so let's create a database first uh, to create a database you have to go back to your um, um control panel um, dashboard so once you get to your control panel dashboard you locate um my sql um database wizard all right so this, this is the um this is the particular session that we are going to make use of to create our database i'll click on it here then i will give my um database a name let's say i will call it training i'll call it training okay then i will just have to copy this um this training call it training then click next okay so our database username now i will call it i will name it training as well okay training training so the, both the database name and the database username i normally give them the same name so for our password uh i will need to generate a password okay so let me just click on password generator so this is the password you copy it make sure you copy it because we'll be needing it um earlier on so i'll click on i have copied the password in a safe place okay or uh, before then before i click there let me first of all um okay okay let me paste the password here i'll paste the password here then i will come over here again then i will now click on use password all right so after you successfully create um, the password for your database i will click on create user okay so um you have successfully created a mysql username oh, okay this is the username of our database so what i'll need to do now is that i will copy this particular um username and then the database name as well i will copy them and i will paste them in this particular session okay i'll paste them there then i will come over here i will click on all privileges it's very important you click on all privileges so after you click on all privileges privileges you click on make changes okay guys so as you can see our database name and um, our database username has been successfully created all right so the next thing that we need to do right now is to go to um, php my admin then we have to upload the database of our um, bank um, website all right so we are going to do that from the php my admin all right so the next thing you do now is to click on return home okay once you click on return home it will take you back to the um control panel dashboard all right then you locate php my admin okay this is it over here php my admin i'll click on it so i've clicked on php my admin okay so um 
once you click on it, it will, you'll be directed to this um, particular um, page. All right. So once you get here, what you do now is to locate the database you created earlier using using the database name. All right. So this is the database we created, which is training. So I'll click on it. Okay. All right. So after clicking on it. I will click on import because we want to import the database of our website now. All right, so I will click on import. So once you click on import, it will take you to this um, particular page. So I will click choose file. So this is where I will click. I will click on choose file. Then I will locate the particular file on my um, system. Let's say okay. Um, All right, so this is the this is the database. So I will just click on it, then click on open. All right. So once you click on it like that, you scroll down. You see this particular um, logo here. This go. So I will click on it. So our database is imported right now. It will take a while, but not that um, long. Okay. So once your database as imported so successfully you will get um something like this so this shows that our uh, database has been successfully uh imported all right so what i'll do right now i'll go back to uh, our script to our file manager where we uploaded the script okay so i'll go back there then we'll do the database uh, configuration but before we do that let's create uh, an email email address that will be linked to this website because this particular um, banking website it has email alert so if we don't configure the email then the, the email alert will not work okay so to do that we'll go back to our um cpanel dashboard then i'll locate email so email account i will locate email account over here then i'll click on it okay so once I click on it, I will click on create. All right. So I will have to select the particular um, domain name I want to uh, create email on. All right. So I will select. I will click on this drop down. Then I will select from the available domain name. That's because I have more than one domain name on this particular C panel. So that is why I need to select the particular one I want to use. Okay. So I will click on this one, which is the training, which we are using for this particular um training so i will i will type in the username for our email let me let me say info okay so sorry okay info then we we'll have to um generate a password so i'll just click on generate password so mind you, you need to take note of this particular password as well so i will just have to copy it and paste it um somewhere okay I'll paste it here like this then I will go back then I'll click on create okay so as you can see we have successfully created the, the email address okay so the next thing I will need to do right now is that we need to copy the email we just created okay let me I'll click on manage so this is the email. I will copy it like this. I will copy the email, and then um, I will paste it on Notepad as well. Okay. So we are going to make use of those information. So that's why I'm pasting them here, so that we can easily access them. All right. So after you have already created your database like this, you have your database username, you have your, your database name, then you have your database base password. Okay, same thing. You have your email and your email password. Then we'll move over to we'll move over to to our file manager where we uploaded the script. Then we'll begin the um, database and then the email configurations. All right. So I will click on um, the. Okay, sorry. I I, I think I'm a, a little bit fast let me slow down a, a little okay so to to begin the configuration right now 
what you need to do is that you need to click on this particular file this particular include folder all right so i'll click on it db config.php all right so i will click on it edit then i will come over here and then um, click edit as well all right so this is the session that we need to do connection all time what i need to do now is that i'll go back to the um notepad then i'll copy this database username i'll copy it mind you both the database username and the, the database name they are they are the same thing so i don't need to come back here and copy the uh, the database name okay so i will just copy uh, the username since they are the same thing i will come over to the to the php session then i will come here i will have to delete this one okay so i will have to delete this particular one and paste in our um, database username there sorry the db name then i will come down here to the database username i will do the same thing okay so i'll do the same thing then i'll go back to the notepad and i'll copy the password i'll copy the password okay so i'll paste the password here i'll paste the password here like this okay so we have successfully um configured this particular session then we will scroll down we'll scroll down again we need to do another configuration here as well okay so this this is where we need to put the password then i'll come here i'll paste the password here i'll paste the password here like this then i'll come here i'll copy the okay the database um name i will paste it here i'll paste it here then i will do the same thing here as well since both our database name and then uh, our database user name they are the same thing so i will just have to paste them here like this okay so after you've configured this particular session then you come here and click on save changes all right so you click on save changes then we'll go back to um to the cpanel session so, so after you've configured this in dbconfig.php we come here we come over to this particular session that said class.user.php okay so i'll right click as well and i'll click on edit okay i'll click on edit so in this particular session we are going to this is where we are going to do our first email um, configuration okay so you just have to scroll down you scroll down to the bottom of this particular um, page then okay so this is where we do our email so this is where we do our email connection okay so i'll come here right now i'll go over to our um notepad and then i'll copy this particular email address i'll copy the email address like this then i'll come here so i'll paste the email address here this is where i'll paste the email address here this place that says username i'll paste the email address here then i'll come here again i'll copy the password i'll copy the password then i'll paste the password here okay so i'll paste the password here then i'll copy the email address here again i'll copy the email address like this then i'll do the same thing i'll paste it here just you just delete those ones and update them with, the, with your own okay so i'll do the same thing here so in this particular session that you are seeing cua bank PHC. So you just have to change the, this particular one to the name of the bank you are working on. This particular CUA, you change this session to the name of your bank. So this uh, this particular host now, what you need to do is that you will put the the your website your website link in this particular session. So this is our our website link. So this is our website link. I will just have to copy our website link from our cPanel like this. Okay. So copy it like this, then I'll paste it here. I'll clear this one.
okay so this is our website link so after you've configured it like this then you come over here and click on save changes okay so we have done the first part of our um configurations all right so we'll move over to the to the other session now um okay i will have to go back i'll click on this particular arrow here so i'll go back then i will locate this particular folder called dashboard so this one here over here that is named dashboard i will right click on it so once you right click on it you will locate another folder called admin so i will double click on it again oh sorry i need to go back okay you first of all click on the dashboard then click on the admin okay so this is where we are going to do another configuration for both our database and then our email all right so i will just have to um scroll down i will scroll down then i will locate this particular um, um folder this particular php file that said connect db.php all right so i will right click on it then i'll click on edit okay so we'll do our first um php configuration here okay so i will come over here also i will copy our uh, database name okay so i'll copy it here then i will paste it here like this okay so i will copy the the password which is this one all right i'll paste it here like this then i will scroll down so when you scroll down you see the, this particular session you have to do the um, connection here as well so i will just have to paste the password here like this since i've already copied it like this then i will come here so i can just copy the the username here sorry the database name then i will paste here okay then i will come down here and do the same thing all right so this other session also i will i will do the same thing here as well so i will paste in the database username then the database name then i will come here i will copy the the password here okay i will copy it like this then i will paste it here all right so after you've done this particular configuration on this particular page you will come here and click on save changes okay so then we'll move over to the uh, next part which is the um the email email configuration so i will right click and click on edit on this in particular folder sorry let me go back this class.crew.php so right click click on edit so you click on edit then you screw down let's screw down we'll screw down to the bottom of this particular page okay all right so to this particular session then we'll do our, our email configuration here as well okay so i'll just have to um, copy the email copy the email okay so i'll i'll paste the email here paste the email here okay then i will go over to the okay i will copy this password here as well i will copy this password then i will paste it here okay so as i've said earlier you can change this particular session to the name of the bank you are working on all right so about i'm going to leave it like this for the purpose of the training then i will copy the the our website url and paste it as well as the host okay so i'll do something like this okay 
okay so this is our website address so i've already pasted it here like this so this is what you do you you paste your website address here as well so after you've done this particular configuration you come over here and click on save changes then we'll go back to uh, our admin folder then we'll click we'll go back to the admin folder i'll just click here like this so we'll locate this particular section of the um, script this um this dbconfig.phpg okay so i'll right click on it edit so i'll do the same configuration here as well so i'll copy my database name okay so i'll i'll paste the database name here okay so i'll do the same thing for for the password i'll copy the password okay so i will click on save changes all right so the next thing we'll do now is that we have to um visit our website let's see how it looks now so i will just have to copy our website link so this is it then i'll come here i'll come here like this and then i'll paste okay so i'll clear those other parts so these are websites you are aware then i'll click on enter okay guys awesome 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 so as you can see this is our work so far this is what we have been working on as you can see the web website is looking awesome it's looking beautiful all right i've i've been able to show you guys how to um upload our and the, this particular band script on a um, control panel and also how to create database how to upload uh, your database and um, file and also how to create email and then do the email configuration for this um, particular script okay so let me uh, visit the login session now to see if everything is working perfectly okay so awesome guys awesome as you can see this is the login page um, for this particular bank website so let me click on the um, sign up um, button sorry the, let me click on the sign up page to see if the sign up page is working as well all right okay guys so everything is working perfectly all right 